What passion kind of pushed you from, from tech into fashion? And what skills do you use uh, that, that came in handy from technology? Oh, I mean, I was just looking for a better pair of pants. I was a freelancer. I was doing information design. And I had clients where I had to look really presentable. Some clients, you know, you can show up in like flip flops and a, you know, a thong or something. Um, but, you know, and I was using my bike to get around the city and I was kind of destroying my clothes and sometimes I couldn't ride my bike because I thought it might rain or because I needed to like look extra nice or whatever it was and I was like all right I just need to go buy a better pair of pants um you know that's a little more durable that can handle a little bit of rain like just basic I thought I figured I'd spend an afternoon shopping and I was done and then a year later I still hadn't found them and I was like oh my god I got to learn how to make these things so I spent this really fascinating like year or two basically where I was going back and forth between New York's garment district which is basically like the 19th century you know singer sewing machines started in New York that's why New York has such a huge garment industry it was a collection of patents right it was actually a technology thing back then right singer collected a bunch of different sewing machine patents together they were headquartered in New York they sold sewing machines all over New York New York made 90 percent of the clothes manufactured clothes people made their own clothes back in the day um, and so that's the garment district and garment district used to be gigantic in the 50s it was still making 90 percent of the manufactured clothes in america and it's much much smaller now but there's still a couple billion dollars worth of clothing made in manhattan so i was like in this sort of ecosystem 19th century really 20th century but it's fun to say 19th century ecosystem um you know that that's two blocks from times square and and then I would walk over to Grand Central where I had a client where it was doing like super high tech like algorithms and I was doing sort of human algorithm interface design. Um, so I was walking between the 19th and the 21st century like in this like little 10 block walk. Um, and I mean, it was, it was amazing just to get stuff in my hands. You know, I had spent a lot of time working on the screen and there's lots of joys to it and there was lots I learned, but it was just really amazing to like build something within your hands that you could touch, you could feel, and it did things and it is technology. Our products are all driven by fabric technology, by manufacturing technology, and then obviously the distribution technology to get it to people as well. So um, part of it is just cutting out the middleman, you know, like we were making stuff that when I first made the first pants and I was like, I love them, like I can, this, this is what I was looking for. I was like, okay, next step, like maybe other people want them, like maybe, you know, I need more. How do I make more? I was really, you know, I think the first pair cost me a couple thousand dollars or something, right? In the end, you know, to me, it was just learning. So it was worth it. Like it was kind of like a multi year adventure to get them. Um, but then I was like, I need more. Do other people want more? <laughs> like, how do I do this? And, you know, I studied the industry. And, you know, if I sold them into a department store, they'd be $500, $600. And I was like, I don't know. Like, I've never bought $600 pants that didn't come with a sport coat, right? So I decided, all right, like, what about if I put them online? And like I said, I knew a lot more about making websites than I did about making clothes. So it's just like, yeah, if I put them online and cut out this whole infrastructure of stores and all this selling and wholesaling and like, you yeah, know, maybe I can make them like kind of the price of a premium denim is kind of what I was looking at because I'd bought premium denim before. It's like, I can understand this. Like, can I get it to that price? And it's like, yeah, if I put it online, I think I can. And so, um, and then it just snowballed from there.